just to get some philosophical cards out on the table, do you come with come at this problem open to dualism or panpsychism, or are you more of a physicalist, or how do you what sort of constrains the possible theories of consciousness that you find compelling? Basically, I'm open to any kind of theory as long as I get it to work. Okay. And uh, difficulty with most of the theories that you listed is that I don't know how to get them to work. And s even physicalism, uh, for a lot of people, there seems to be um, a belief in physical objects or physical substances involved. But uh, is this a necessary belief for understanding the mind? I, I don't know. For all I know, it's possible that we are always living in a dream. And in some sense, I find myself to be living in a dream, right? It's That's my experience, the objects that I experience, including the device that makes physical measurements, are objects that I dream. And this dream, the best explanation for the regularities in the dream is that the dream is constructed uh, to track regularities in sensory data, and it's constructed inside of the brain of a primate. Mm -hmm. right? But this uh, brain of the primate and, this and so on, how do I know about the brain of the primate? Oh, my teacher told me. How does my teacher tell? Uh, told me they learned at university and read it in books and so on and so on, right? But who came up with this idea and based on what and what were the available alternatives to these ideas? Uh, that's ultimately what, what we need to ask and basically how leaky is the epistemic chain from uh, the observations uh, over the arguments and conclusions in the theory space to me when my teacher tells me. Mm -hmm. And as a child I was extremely skeptical about the coherence of that chain because first of all, I was super um, nerdy and ignorant <laughs> and stubborn. And second, I lived in communist Eastern Germany. So per default, everything that my teachers uh, told me was wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, so from my own perspective, I also yeah. came from an artist family that didn't uh, believe very much in the state propaganda. And I had tons of books in my house. And I realized that many of the people who had written books hundreds of years ago, I had more in common with them than with my teachers. Mm. Uh, because they were more rigorous in their thinking and they actually cared about the thoughts that I had and in a way which my teachers didn't. And so I found very often that, uh, of course, the teachers are giving us models that are tested, that are useful in practice, that have worked in practice. But if I ask them metaphysical questions, they're usually not even interested. And when they give answers, these answers tend to be shallow or wrong. And so if you have theories like physicalism, what does it actually mean? Mm -hmm.